We are at the Autobach headquarters in Germany for a look at the production of running prosthetics with Paralympic gold medalist Heinrich Popoff. For me, to have a prosthetic that is specially made for me is like I'm getting my leg back again. Having a special prosthetic means it is working like I need it and I will not have a fight against the prosthetic. I can produce speed, I can produce force and I can run and I can enjoy my running. It's not a battle against my prosthetic, it's running with my prosthetic and it becomes a part of my body. All of Popov's equipment is supplied by a world-leading operation known for their innovation in the world of prosthetics. At their headquarters in Duderstadt, every running blade or spring is made by hand using carbon fiber reinforced plastic. So the first step of the process is to prepare all the stuff, so the knife and the materials. Then you have to cut all the layers of carbon fiber. Then the next step is the layer process. So the worker has to lay up each layer on the mold. There are about 60 layers, so it's really a lot. After the laying process, we put the mold in the vacuum bag because we have to suck the air out of between the layers to prepare it for the curing process. The mold is put in an autoclave, so it's like an oven and it's above 150 degrees. So the curing process is the chemical process where the resin gets hardened. After one and a half hour, we put the spring in another machine, so it's a drilling machine. And in that drilling machine, we mill the side edge and the holes for the adapter. Then we have the final shape. And then the next step is to test the stiffness of the spring. Whilst every blade produced faces strict quality control, prototype designs are given even more rigorous testing at the facility's lab to ensure they can endure intensive training and ultimately competition. As an Autobot test lab mainly does um, mechanical testing for the development of Autobot. So our test on the uh, machine reproduces the forces and angles of the youth by, for example, Heinrich Popov uh, over a year of intensive training, for example, in uh, preparation for the Paralympics. And that means uh, 350,000 uh, steps or cycles and forces up to uh, six, 6 6.5 times body weight of an athlete. Delivery of the blade is only the first step. True precision is obtained when Popov and his team of technicians, led by Jens Northerman, test equipment themselves and make the minute changes necessary to aid his comfort and performance. For me, it's really important to have guys like Jens on my side that I can trust for 100%. If I tell him something that he's not saying, no, the computer says it has to be like this. Sometimes, yeah, the computer said it has to be like this, but I didn't feel it like this. That's the point. The machine say us um, that you have a red light or a green light. Yeah, it's okay or not okay. And uh, Heinrich can say uh, the harmonic is good. So you need both. Here on the table, we can see all the parts that I need for my competition uh, through the Paralympic Games. Uh, you have, you see here, three foots for three different competition. This foot I'm using all the time when I warm up. Then coming on the, in the stadium, you need a spike plate. And uh, for the long jump, you need a bigger a spike plate because sometimes it's slippery on the board and you have to have a good takeoff. As an above-the-knee amputee, Popoff also requires a hydraulic knee joint and a custom-made socket, which is individually molded as an exact fit for his leg. When the socket is not fitting, um, my mind is not free to run. Uh, when the socket will twist, I can't bring the energy on the ground, I can't uh, bring the force on the ground, I can't accelerate, and I will be not happy to run because I have to trust all the steps that I'm doing. The feeling of, of trust is the first thing that I need and it's the most important thing that I need when I go into the block. When I give my prosthetic to Otto Bock and especially to Jens, I know that he's tightened up the screws better than I'm doing it because sometimes I'm too nervous to make them tight enough or I make them too tight and he's doing it in the right amount that I need and I can completely focus on what I'm doing, I can completely focus on my race and I don't have to think about it and that's really, really important. 
My leg is made out of the people that are behind my leg. And if I'm not trusting the people, I can't trust my leg. And, and this prosthetic will not become a part of my body. And that's the most important thing.